Hey guys, Josh Carter here. We got James. We're going to be doing a walkthrough of the new RT198P that we just got through, just got picked up. So we're going to go through and show you everything that you should be checking when you first get your boat. You know, when you first leave the dealer, get it in the water and, and go through and check everything. So stay tuned. All right, guys, like I said, we are out here on, what lake is this, James? Lake Truman? Yeah. I think it's over Lake Harris, Harris Truman or something like that. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, but we come out here, we just picked the boat up from Pro's Choice uh, out here in Missouri. They were technically the only ones that had the boat. Yes. That we could find. Uh, that we wanted any colors and all that stuff. Yeah, so. we had to order that. I mean, we yeah. had to order it. Yeah. So, but anyways, I just wanted to walk through because there was actually a few things that we found at first, but it, it actually wasn't nothing major. It's just you got to work out some of the bugs or you got to, uh, well, I'll get to it here in a little bit and show you what we're talking about. But anyways, we're going to start to the front of the boat and uh, just kind of go over everything. All right, so this one come with the Lowrance. Uh We got the uh, Elite uh, 9 on here. And then, like I say, they, the dealer put the power pole switches on here for us. So... When we got on the water, the first things we wanted to check was the power poles. Um, like I say, we went ahead and checked, make sure that the buttons work. You can see power poles are going down. And hit the other button, coming up. Now, when we first got this, and they we had started, little, they, they had, had air, in, air in it. So they didn't go all the way down. So just keep working them back and forth a little bit, and they seem to be working perfectly. Um, yeah, at this point. we had to cycle them a couple of times and it, and it got it got better. Uh, we were concerned there for a minute because we then pulled up right in the middle of the lake <laughs> and nothing like they went down fine. Coming back up, one was half coming up, the other one wasn't. And it just we got it worked out, though. You just got to work the air out of it. So um, next thing we did, we just made sure like, you know, when you first put in the water, you want to make sure all your breakers and stuff are on in the back. We'll go back here first and we'll kind of show you that. Um, you just want to double check all your breakers. Make sure all that's on before you put in because, you know, and this control the motor and all that. And this one is the cup edition one. Yeah. You know, with the Atlas and the power of poles and stuff. But there's two breakers over here. There's a main off right there. And then there's that one. And then here's your trolling motor one. Yeah. And then you got your your power pole pumps and and when you when you work these things back and forth you want to come back here and make sure too your fluids are, are still good and topped off because you got to recirculate all that that hydraulic fluid through your lines you know so um but you know you want to make sure too while while you're sitting here floating as well you got your drain plug in and you want to make sure that there's no water coming in anywhere you know around your fittings all that stuff let it sit here and just float for a little while and and you know make sure you check all that out so it's, you want to try to get all this done as quickly as possible, especially like where we bought one out of town. It's not, it's a, it's about a 16 hour drive back for us to get back here if we have a major issue. So, um, but James, he's been checking that. Yeah, everything looks good and dry. So, and then, you know, go back here, check all your, your lines coming through. Make sure you ain't got no gas coming out. You know, a line, uh, a fitting could get easily, you know, loosened, wouldn't connect it all the way. Um, this one, like I say, has the hydraulic jack plate, so you just want to make sure you don't have no fluids coming out anywhere. Everything looks good and kosher. So, um, but you heard just a little while ago, you heard one of the pumps kick on. Uh, we, we filled up the live well. We checked the, checked the drain plug on that, put water in the live well. We did the recirc. And then we done the pump out. Yep, you got you pulled that plug out, you got your pump out. Um, so all that's, that's working properly. Um, yeah, got plenty of storage here. Um, going to the front here, well, to the console. One thing we did notice with this, it seemed like it was getting better as we were working it, as the steering wheel had a little bit of clicking in one section of it. Um, James said that he had seen on the Ranger forums that yeah. some guys were kind of talking about that, but it seemed like it was getting better as, it, as we was working yeah. it. So I guess it just, the hydraulic steering had air in it or something. Um, we worked through that, but we went through and we checked every switch. You know, you got your bilge pump, 
kick that on, make sure that's running. Uh, like right now, we got this in the uh, research mode. We were checking that to make sure the timer's been kicking on and off like it should. This one's a extra auxiliary switch here. You can see the lights cutting on there. Uh, you got your running lights, which we do need to put those in. Yeah. Make sure all those are working. You got your uh, interior lights, which oh, whoa, which is right there. I don't know if you can see real good where the sun is, but uh, you got your horn. There you go. <laughs> But, and then like I say, when you're running your boat, you want to make sure that all your gauges are working properly. Your trim, you know, to play around with your trim, get some fuel in your boat, make sure your fuel's working good. And also you want to test, now this, this here, this valve, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get in here. This valve here is for your um, plug on your live wheel. So you want to make sure you got that, make sure that's working good and properly. And then there is our hydraulic trim switch. Uh, which we tested that and that's working good so and also there's an automatic drain plug yes in the rear i wouldn't test that on the water no i'd make sure that that you're going to find out it's, it's draining very well into the hole <laughs> yeah but um there is when you do hit it it gets to a point and it feels like it's all the way shut wait till it clicks yeah and that means it's sealed yep uh we went through we checked at the dealership while we were there we went through and opened every hatch um, looked at a few things and, and you'll be able to see the full walkthrough of this um, of this video if you haven't I'll, I'll put a link up at the top here um, that video has been already out before this one comes out so anyways you want to just do a full walkthrough uh, make sure everything looks good make sure your carpet looks good in spots and your edges and your corners there's a few spots we found on here that we want to fix um, with just alignment issue it's just cosmetic it's nothing yeah. major you know like there's a few things there you can get your dealer to do it fortunately we're able to take care of it so we're just gonna do it and do it the way we want it so um james has got the lights in now make sure that's working Let's see if we got navigation yeah nav lights on we'll go up here check this oh yeah it's also this one's pretty cool on the top you can see the red and green how about the anchor yep anchor's working Right now, we're testing the spot lock on the Lowrance. Um, we actually was trolling at a good speed and then basically stop hit, and then hit the spot lock and see if it turn around and come right back to uh, where we were at. So um, We also got up here, we got, our, we got our trim button up here. So if you get in shallow water and you trim it up. And then you got your nav lights here, anchor lights. Um, but yeah, so far, I mean, we've tested everything with the boat with the, the trolling motor high speeds anchor mode um i mean all the seat like i said we went over the seats um everything so far has been good on like i said just a few little odd and end cosmetic things um that we need to to work on so but but other than that guys that's the end of this video um like i say check out our walkthrough video of it we're going to do a full in-depth walkthrough uh, let you guys see how everything lays see see what we're we're going to probably change on this thing um and that way you know when you guys get a boat you automatically know what you want to do we're going to have some stuff coming out for this boat here soon a few accessories yep, yeah. a few odd in accessories so um you're going to see a lot more fishing videos in this as well we're still doing kayaking we're not going to be solely just bass boat <laughs> yeah. We're not going to the dark side, is what some people are going to say. But uh, we're we're going to be we're going to be in both. This this gives us the opportunity for us to go out and do some dual filming together. So, dual filming and take our families out. Yep, and take our families out and have a good time with our families. So we go we're going a lot of camping trips together. Um, it is nice being able to hold the kayaks, get the kids in the kayaks. But when you got to take <laughs> so many different kayaks and all that, it gets kind of tough. So. Uh, this is for you know family and all that as well, but uh, but other than that guys hope you enjoyed the video hit the subscribe button hit the like button We're gonna take this thing back load it on a trailer and hit our butts back to Virginia We've got about another 16 and a half hours to go. So yeah. <laughs> um, But other than that, we'll talk to you later. See ya